Hi everyone, I'm Kevin. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add narration and voiceover to a PowerPoint presentation. We'll also look at adding annotations to slides. And finally, we'll look at how we can export the presentation as a video file that can then be shared via platforms like YouTube, email, your LMS and similar. So let's get started. Now, depending on whether you're using a PC or a Mac, this is what you're greeted with when you launch a PowerPoint and I'm currently recording this demonstration on a PC using Office 365. So I've downloaded the PowerPoint application and I'm running the PowerPoint application from my desktop. For adding narration to a PowerPoint, the first thing you'll need to do is go to the Slideshow tab. There you have options for recording your slideshow and then you would finally have to go to your file menu and then pick export to create a video. What I'd also like to do is show you how you can activate another little tab here which will help you with the narration and the export options all in the one tab. So how you might do that is simply come over to one of these tab options here and simply right click and pick customize the ribbon and then there make sure that you are on the customize ribbon option here and then if you move across here you'll see if you slide this slider up or down you would have this recording tab available to you make sure that you tick that and then you click OK and then you will find that the recording tab has now appeared in your PowerPoint interface so I'm going to click this and in this recording I'm going to be using the recording tab but a majority of the options that you have here are also in the slideshow tab so whichever you decide to use doesn't make too much of a difference the only reason I'm using the recording tab is because it does have the export feature here as well plus it has some additional features like a screen recording where you can add a screen recording or even a screenshot into your PowerPoint uh, show and these particular options including the export video option is not available in the slideshow option at this current stage. So I'll go back into the recording option and now let's look at how we can add some narration to our slides. So the first thing we'd want to do is come over to record slideshow. You can click on that little drop down arrow there and you can pick whether you want to record from the current slide. Maybe you're at the third or fourth slide and you wanted to start recording from there or you could obviously pick record from beginning which would mean that you'd be recording from the very first slide. If you were to not pick any of these options and if you were to, for example, just click on this record slideshow button there, you would immediately be brought to the first slide and you'd be ready to start recording. Okay, now that we've brought up our recording interface, I'll quickly take you through some of the uh, tools available to you here before we actually start the recording. So obviously if you were to press the record button you'd start recording and uh, there would be a little stopwatch appearing round about here that tells you that you're recording. Uh, once you're done with the recording you'd hit stop and then if you wanted to preview the recording you simply hit play here. Uh, you can also reveal any notes that you may have added into your slides if the notes are going to help you with your narration you can reveal those notes here um, and those notes also does have the option of increasing and decreasing your font size uh, then the next thing you can do is when you recorded uh, narration for a particular slide if you weren't happy with that recording you can always come over here to clear and then pick clear recordings on current slide or you could pick clear recordings on all slides if you wanted to revoice or re-narrate all your slides. If we look at the settings option here you will see that you're uh, able to come over to microphone and then pick a particular microphone that you have plugged into your computer. If you come down to camera you'll see that you're able to pick your uh, built-in webcam that might be on your laptop or if you plugged in a separate webcam like I have for example here uh, it would be picked over here. Now having said that you do have the option of recording just audio uh, and or video as well. Now as you can see I have decided not to record my camera but if you wanted to record your camera you simply click on that to get rid of that slash going across and then it would be recording your little camera as well uh, but I'm just going to be recording audio for today. 
Okay, now having introduced you to all those tools, let's get on with a little bit of the recording. I'm going to, to start off, obviously, click the record button. Gives you a countdown. And there you go. Uh, I'm now recording this slide, so I would introduce my topic or um, anything that we're wanting to talk about on this particular slide. And once we're done and dusted, we would need to ideally hit the stop button. Now, whilst yes, you can go ahead and hit the stop button, you can also advance to your next slide by clicking the right arrow here. And let's do that. Now I've come over to my second slide and then obviously I can start uh, or rather continue narrating on this second slide. Now one thing that is important to note is that you should not be talking or rather narrating at the point of you transitioning from one slide to the other. Finish whatever you have to say on one slide, transition to the next slide and then start talking again on that slide that you've just transitioned to try to avoid talking whilst slides are in transition. So that's it. I've now recorded a second slide. Let's also see how it works out. I'll move over to the third slide. So here we are now at the third slide. Now I'd like to introduce you to another little tool that we have uh, uh, access to, which are the drawing tools down here or rather the annotation tools. So I can, for example, pick the pen here, pick a particular color from over here and then I can come over here and uh, annotate a particular element and I also have access to a highlighter tool which I can pick over there, pick my highlighter color and then highlight whatever I need. Now just as much as you can annotate you can also come over to your eraser tool down here and you can get rid of any annotations that you've made. Now I must um, advise you or let you know that any annotations you draw and any subsequent erasures thereof are all recorded as part of the video. So here we go I'm going to now erase that as well and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to annotate just or rather record just these three slides. I'm now going to press the stop button. Okay now that we've finished recording we can always come back to uh, our first slide and then uh, quickly preview the recording slide by slide. So I'll simply press the play button here and there you go. Uh, I'm now recording this slide so I would so that's my recording on the first slide and then I just hit stop again and then I can advance to the second slide and then have a preview of what I've uh, just recorded. Now I've come over to my second slide and then obviously I can start. There you go, that's the second slide recording. I'll hit stop. Now notice that when I'm previewing them, if I don't hit stop, I don't have the ability to move on to my next slide so I'll just need to hit stop there and then move on to my next slide and I can preview that as well. Now here we go so I've now come to the third slide and I'm trans okay so there you go I've now previewed all three slides so I'll press stop. Now as I mentioned before if you're happy with your recordings you can simply hit the little X over here and that will take you back to your PowerPoint interface. Uh, but if you for whatever reason wanted to re-record any of your narrations on a particular slide or on all your slides you do have the option of coming over here. Pick the clear button and then you can pick either of these options. Right so let's assume we're happy with our recordings and we'll go ahead and hit the little X button here. Now that we are done with our slide narrations and recordings, uh, the first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is that you will see that every slide that you did do a narration for will have this little audio speaker icon there, which if you click on, you are able to play back that particular recording, preview it, and I'll also show you in a second how you could edit that as well. So I'll just go to another slide and you'll see that there again is the speaker symbol, the playback button, and the third slide we narrated, and so on and so forth. You'll also notice that the fourth slide I did not do any narration, so there is no speaker symbol appearing there, not on the fifth slide either. Okay, so let's go back to the first slide. Now I'll click on the speaker symbol and then let's play this back and see what that sounds like. 
and there you go uh, I'm now recording this slide so I would introduce my topic or um, and that's the recording now if we're happy with the recording we can leave it as is or we do have the option to right click on that speaker symbol and pick trim this gives us the opportunity to mark a specific in and out point as in trim uh, a bit of the audio from the beginning and trim a bit of the audio from the end unfortunately as of now there is no way to trim or remove any bits of your recording from the middle of the recording so let's see how we do this at the beginning I'll move that little blue playhead over there and then I'll play this back and there you go uh, I'm now so there is a little sound there that I made with my mouth with I which I just might try to remove we'll see if i can do that i'll move the little green playhead fella there or rather the green marker there mind you and then i'll press play and there you go uh, i'm now recording this that seems to have worked well i'll try that again and there you go uh, i'm now recording this slide so so that's good i've trimmed just a little bit at the beginning let's move over towards the end in the right arrow here and let's do that so it looks like I don't have to edit anything off at the end, but you could very well do that if you wanted to. You can, for example, pull the little red uh, marker all the way up to a particular point that you wanted to stop, or rather, if you wanted to remove that bit of the recording, you can do that. Once you've settled on which part of the recording you want to keep and which bits at the end and which bits at the beginning you want to remove and you mark them accordingly, you simply press OK. You would then move on to your other slides and do a similar operation if you needed to and if you didn't have anything to remove or change you simply press cancel let's have a listen to this and see if there was anything we wanted to remove now i've come over to my second slide and then obviously i can start uh, or rather continue narrating on this that all seems to be fine we'll move towards the end move over to the third slide Yep, that seems to be fine. So I'm just going to hit cancel and move on to my third slide. Pick the speaker symbol, right click, pick trim again. And then I'll press play here. Now here we go. So I've now come to the third slide and I'm trans. Uh, so here we are now. At and there you go. I've definitely made a mistake there. So now I've restarted the recording. So that gives me an opportunity to get rid of the bit that was incorrect let's see how that goes I'll take that back there play now here we go so I've now come to the third slide and I'm trans uh, so I'll stop there that bit that I've made the little mistake there and I'll simply trim that in there let's see how that goes uh, not quite a little bit more so here we are now at the let's try that again so here we are now at the third slide now I'd like to introduce now that seems to be a lot better as you can see I've gotten rid of that little bit of a area that I made a mistake there we'll come towards the end and see how that goes to do I'm going to annotate just or rather record just these three slides I'm now going to press the stop button which is all good that's actually where I wanted that recording to stop and I simply press OK now that we've checked individual narrations on each slide I'm also going to show you how to go to any particular slide uh, and then add a video file to it now when you are doing this I would recommend that you add a video file only to a slide that does not have any narration uh, because otherwise the video file and the narration could be in conflict uh, as to which one you wanted to play back first so let's go to the last slide here which says insert opening sequence for analysis so this is for uh, a particular project um, where a teacher has asked me to help with uh, helping students insert a video file into a PowerPoint so that teacher has intentionally left this blank slide here to add some video let's see how we do that there are many ways that you can actually add a video to a PowerPoint slide let's look at one of them now if you had got the recording tab going you would simply click on video and then navigate to wherever your video file was locate it and then pick insert another option would be 
uh, where you'd went into the insert menu and then moved across over here to media and you could click on video and pick um, video on my PC for example so using either of those two methods you can navigate to where your video lives I know that my video is here so I'll simply pick that video and I'll pick insert now as you can see it's come in full screen which might be exactly what I want if it wasn't I can simply pick the video and grab these handles at the end and resize the video to whatever size I wanted uh, position it accordingly now if I did want that text there to show for whatever reason I could make the video a little smaller um, do this at this end as well uh, position it nicely towards the center of the screen and there you go I'll quickly test that the video file is working as well lower your energy costs and help create a cleaner health yep the video works great now just as you would have with the narrator audio clips that came in you can pick the video file right click and pick trim there as well and you can trim at the beginning and at the end just like you would with the audio files so once you've done that you'd simply click OK we're not making any trims here so we're simply going to cancel and your video is ready to go now there is one other setting that I need you to check and change if necessary that is on all media files that you're uh, adding into your PowerPoint like this one for example uh, or even the little narrator recordings that came in when we recorded the narrations what you do need to do is pick each file and then go into the playback menu in PowerPoint and then make sure that these under audio options in this area that you make sure that the media is uh, always set to start automatically as opposed to when clicked on because we're going to convert this file to a video file and uh, there's not going to be a click option so we want the audio file and video files to start automatically so make sure that that is ticked let's go to the video file that we just inserted pick the video file go back to the playback menu and make sure under video options that your start is not in click sequence it should be set to start automatically once that's done your file is now ready for export so ideally you'd need to save the file and then let's look at how we export this to a video file so one of your options is using the recording tab where you can simply hit export to video uh, and you'd be taken to your video export options if by any chance you didn't get this recording tab going at the beginning you can simply go to file go down to export and then pick create video you'd see exactly the same export options now I am going to recommend that if this is going up on the web or you're sharing the file uh, via a particular sharing network or something like OneDrive or Dropbox I'd recommend that you keep this to something like 720p if the quality of the, the, the visuals wasn't a big deal or wasn't playing a major part in your presentation you could even go with 480 but 720 is a good balance between quality and file size you do also obviously have the option of going full HD I wouldn't recommend uh, Ultra HD 4k just because it creates a large file size so you'd be picking between full HD 1080p or HD 720p which is a good size for quality and file size so I'll simply pick that now if you have added narrations into your slides you definitely want to make sure that this option is picked which is use recorded timings and narrations um, you do have all these other options or rather these two options you want to make sure that use recorded timings and narrations is what's picked so that your narrations play out completely before uh, the video advances to the next slide now this uh, option here is where you can stipulate a particular number of seconds for slides that does not have any audio narration on it or a video file on it so these slides will be slides that just simply have text that you have not narrated for whatever reason you can stipulate whether that slide uh, lasted for five seconds or ten seconds or whatever duration you wanted uh, just remember that that option is there for slides that don't have any multimedia on it and once you've done that you simply hit create video
you can then decide where you want to save that video so i'll simply add the words narrated here to it and i'll simply pick save you will then find that the progress of the file is displayed over here it might take a little while depending on how long your entire PowerPoint presentation is. Uh, from my experience, this shouldn't take longer than uh, a couple of minutes. I might also add that you do have the option of adding transitions between slides, you know, something like a cross dissolve or uh, a page turn or something like that. And those transitions will also uh, be included in your video. Now in this particular PowerPoint I haven't added any transitions. Uh, it's simply going to cut from one slide to the other which is fine as well but I just wanted to let you know that you can add transitions and those transitions will be exported as part of your video. Now let's have a look at the final video file. So here's my file. I'll simply double click on it to open it and there you go. Uh, I'm now recording this slide so I would introduce my topic or um, anything that we're wanting to talk about on this. But so everything seems to be fine. I'll simply move along the video just to see whether my video file plays back without any problems. So here we are at the fourth slide. Lower your energy costs and help create a cleaner, healthier planet for generations to come. Well, there you go. Done and dusted. Please get in touch with us at the contact details displayed in the description area of this video if you need any further help with this. Thank you.